Hey everyone, this is Gleb. Imagine you have a couple of input fields and you would like to find input field by a value or part of a value. If a value is static, that means it's an HTML attribute, then it's easy. You can use the attribute selector. For example, to find the input with value Joe, you can do something like this. Find the right input. If you know, for example, the start of the value, let's say uh, we can say, how do you find the one with value that starts with J? You can probably use the hat. And uh, it's very similar to regular expressions. So for example, oh yeah, okay. If you just know something in the middle, for example, this area code is for a four, let's say the one in the middle somewhere uh, should have zero, right? We can find that and we can even say should have value and then as a string for a four. So you find the right field. But what happens if the value is not an attribute? What if you set it dynamically? So let's say we remove a value completely and then we get the input area and we type for a four. Well, we should be able to find it, right? After all, we see for a four right here. Well, because it's not an attribute, it's now a dynamic property, you cannot find it using attribute selector. So the way to find this particular input in this case is to do the following. Find all the input boxes and then filter. And usually filter is use a selector, but in Cypress I filter command also allows you to pass a callback, which gets an index and the DOM element, the actual DOM element, not even the jQuery. And here you can return Boolean. And in this case, we'll say input value includes, let's say, capital zero. Okay. So you find all three inputs, you filter them using your custom callback, and you return the only one where the value, the current dynamically set value passes the predicate. And here you can be as um, inventive as you need to be. Find this recipe and lots more at my glebachmatov.com slash cypress examples site. I will link it in the description of this video.